How did you use technologies in the construction and research planning and evaluation stages? There were many different technologies to get to grips with throughout the construction and research planning and evaluation stages, the most technology being used through the construction phase. In conducting my research into all elements of the coursework, the main technologies I used were YouTube, Prezi, Blogspot, Padlet and Slideshare. YouTube in particular was very important and helpful when it came to researching existing products to gain influence from. On this technology I was able to research many different trailers, both professional and amateur, and evaluate the pros and cons from each and where my own product would fit into and conform to these certain conventions. YouTube was helpful in the research and planning of both the main task and ancillary tasks. As, I, as it enabled me to learn new things and techniques when constructing my products, as well as using the site to get tutorials for Photoshop, which then gave me the basic knowledge on how to use the software and manipulate images to get the desired effect. Prezi Slideshare and Padlet all helped me to create, an interfa in, to create more interactive blog posts, helped me to create new and innovative ways to display my work. For using all of these, I could become more creative in how my work was viewed allowed me to add pictures and videos to best express the message I was trying to convey, which was particularly important during the research and planning stages. Through the construction process for my main task, the main technology I used was the iMovie, as it allowed me to upload, edit and trim my self opera trailer. Having used this software previously for AS, I was already familiar with the program. However, this year my skills have developed to use much more creative elements of iMovie. For example, the Ken Burns effect coming into use on certain elements of the trailer, as well as the different effects on the footage themselves, such as the romantic effect. Also, I got to grips with using a voiceover recording device, such as the one I'm using now. This allowed me to record over the different parts of my trailer, and it allowed me to add voiceovers and foley recording onto the areas of footage where certain scenes were needed to make it seem more natural. For my construction of the ancillary tasks, I used completely unfamiliar technologies, this proving to be a challenge and a learning curve, as you can see on screen. I was able to use industry standard software, such as Photoshop, to produce and create both the magazine cover and the poster for the soap opera trailer. Using this software was very difficult at first, but however, after looking at YouTube tutorials about the program, I was able to familiarise myself with the technology fairly quickly. Photoshop was great in allowing me to freely manipulate and change the images I had taken, giving them completely different perspectives to make them look a lot more professional. Also being able to use the magnetic lasso tool to crop around my images and create a smooth and sleek finish to each image, it was crucial for both the tasks, in particular, in particular with the poster, in enable, enable me to get the smooth silhouette um, image that I needed. Another useful element on this technology was the, was the ability to change the pixels of the canvas as it enabled me to, to um, increase the pixels which would mean that my poster if stre stretched a bit onto a bit billboard as it would be, the images would not be distorted or grainy but would still have the same quality as any smaller version. In order to show that I had used the technologies effectively to create each piece, I used another new technology to help display it, this being the screen recording using the QuickTime player of which I'm using now. This software has enabled me to record everything that's ha that has been happening on my computer screen through each, each development of my ancillary tasks. This was a quick and effective way of showing how the pieces were constructed, and from this I then uploaded the footage onto our movie to trim and speed them up, and then upload them to YouTube and then finally onto my blog. Overall, it's been very difficult to use each of the different technologies, however they have all contributed to the interactivity of my coursework and the professional outcome of each task. I am now familiar with a variety of softwares, all of which industry standard, and I now know and have a clear perspective and comprehensive view of how each is used in order to produce quality of work.